hi guys so i am back with another video and it's another skincare video it's not a vlog this time a lot of people have been asking me how i basically have been doing my skincare in the past year or so because my skin has changed so dr drastically so so drastically i'm gonna be showing you um little clips and videos of how my skin slowly improved even today like i still do break out i still do have scarring textures but i just wanted to share with you guys my journey on how i cleared my skin up personally it's all trial and error i'm gonna go through a lot of products a lot of steps i'm gonna be saying a lot of things so guys if you don't like skincare don't watch this and if you really are interested since you have similar skin as me which is oily slash acne prone and combination type of skin then keep watching so as you guys can see from previous clips i showed you i really did go through so much like with my skin like um i'm wearing makeup obviously and um, you can see that there are some textures but it's not as bad but back then even when i wore makeup like you could still see the bumps and spots and everything so we're going to start off with cleansers so i have been using the exact same type of cleansers for years and years now to remove my makeup i use um i use an oil cleanser this one is by the body shop it's the chamomile silky cleansing oil and i also use the simple moisturizing face facial wash and i also use the cosrx the low ph one but this one's cheaper it's more available and it's very gentle on my skin in the morning i don't use cleanser i do just wash my face with water and that's it and it's been working so good for me so yeah my toners do change up if i'm wearing makeup i use to in the summer i use the ole henriksen balancing force oil control toner because I do get super oily and it helps with my oiliness oiliness and in the winter or when I'm not really that oily um, in the winter my skin does tend to get a bit drier I use I um, don't really know how to say it but yes I'm pretty sure it's Japanese and I've been using this for like two years now and it's amazing and for the days when i'm not those are the days when I am wearing makeup because I don't really like to put serums when I'm wearing makeup I don't know why but that's just my preference so when i'm not wearing makeup i use the hyaluronic acid from the ordinary and at night time i know it's so different but trust me like i think it's just what my skin needs and for night i use the ordinary and it's alpha arbutin two percent plus ha so yeah those are my toners when i apply these products i apply them when my face is still damp or pretty wet because it just absorbs the product even more and it's been helping my skin improve a lot and it just becomes more hydrated you know hydration is key now for skin treatments skin serums depending on what i need during that time let me start from the beginning when i used to have acne i would use um acne.org um, this is the benzyl peroxide treatment. I will always recommend this because it worked miraculously on my skin. I still break out, but it's literally hardly, guys. I hardly break out anymore. I feel like small pimples or just redness. I don't get like cystic acne anymore or hormonal acne. My acne changed up a little bit. And HA for the scarring. But since I don't have acne anymore, I use other products to kind of like keep my skin intact so it prevents hormonal pimples coming up especially at that time of the month or whatever when i use these products such as retinols and acids and all these different serums i i don't say this I, it's not i listen to my skin or i feel what my skin needs so if i can see that wow okay i am breaking out i can see like all these like pimples slowly like start to show up then i use retinols because and the retinols that i use is from the ordinary these are the first retinols i've tried i tried the lowest percentage first and 
then I go up higher. That's what I use when I'm breaking out. So when I'm not breaking out anymore and then I realize okay you know when like the pimples have kind of gone down the spots have gone down and you just get left with like texture or like whatever you know not that it's a bit of scarring i do use the ordinary i know I've, I'm addicted to the ordinary um this has been a lifesaver this is the azelic acid suspension 10 percent guys please buy it but be careful with it Okay, and always use sunscreen. So I use this in the morning. I'm gonna wear makeup, of course. I use this during the day, and then I alternate with the days. With this, I usually use like retinol during nighttime, and then like these. But I also use niacinamide, of course. Everyone uses niacinamide. But yes, guys, please purchase this. Not even I'm um, guys. I'm not sponsored by any of these products. I've been gifted some products, but they're not telling me to just go out and talk about it i literally just use them and use what's best for me but yes this is by the ordinary this is a lifesaver and of course you know there are times when your skin just needs to be exfoliated like it feels very if you can feel that your skin is clogging up I don't know, you'll know, you'll see it. When you see it, you're just like, ooh, 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 there's so many, like, it feels congested. What the serum that I use is um, lactic acid, which is 5%. Always start with the smallest percentage first, and then you know you can build up. And of course, once you've treated your skin, and there are times when you use, like, so many active ingredients and active products to try and treat your skin, you realize that you know when your skin kind of feels a bit sore from all the products that you use or um in filipino or in tagalog we say mahapte like it kind of it's kind of sore it's very it's very sensitive um i would advise to go on like a skincare detox so like lessen the skincare stuff only the things that you really need the most but for me what helps is i don't use any active ingredients when i Feel like my skin needs to heal because of course you can't just keep on using retinol and acid acids you need to let your skin breathe you need to let your skin regenerate what helps with me the most is always centella so um, this is the cosar x centella blemish ampule i haven't really repurchased it because it's always out of stock so i was like okay let me just find something else something similar so i found the dr jart <laughs> she's a bit pricey it's my second ball but girl guys it helps so so much so this is the tiger grass repair serum i'm going to list all of these down below and probably link them so don't worry guys so now that we've finally finished with all the serums i went through so many serums it's crazy coarse moisturizer you need to just moisturize 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 so i have a lot so during the day in summer i used clinique and this is um their clinique id so i don't remember what my clinique id is anymore but basically you just go for whatever your skin needs the most and then they have like the cartilage and whatever cream that they use and i used this during summer because it was so lightweight and we had like a heat wave so using heavy creams was just not for me during the summer so i used clinique is literally running out this was for when i wore makeup during the summer during the day when i'm not wearing makeup this is by olivita olive chief pharmacy i'm pretty sure it's a german brand and oh my gosh super mm, hydrating not too thick not too much so that was really great and this is hub beauty as well during the winter when my skin needs more moisturizing i use i went through clinique this is their 72 hour moisture search i'm go currently going through um another oliveda oliveda this is the anti-aging face cream this is the f07 I'm going through that right now but guys i swear down by this moisturizer and i'm pretty sure if you guys have tried body shop yes this was gifted and they had a collaboration with them but they didn't tell me to post or use it or whatever I, they just gave it to me and i was just like oh my god i've always wanted to try this and i use it up so quickly it's basically gone now 
but I'm gonna have to repurchase this again because this was amazing. Like when your skin is really dry and it just like or it hurts a little bit, I just put this on and I'm like, oh, oh my god, my skin feels so much better. I know it sounds so dramatic, but guys, I swear by this product, like a lifesaver it's a it's a moisturizing miracle i'm not gonna lie i always said i was gonna repurchase this but this was really expensive it was very moisturizing but this was way better i'm not gonna lie this is way better i am a body shop ambassador but it's not because i am an ambassador it's because it's amazing amazing and another moisturizer that i'm using throughout the day and i'm using it today actually mainly because you know it's winter and i just need a bit more protection and just something thicker but not too thick so this is the dr jart this is ceramidin cream i've never tried it before but it feels good in my skin i've only been using it for a couple of days anyways but so far so good so we'll see how this goes and guys come on we cannot forget our sun <laughs> You already know the scandal with Purito. So basically, this is actually not SPF 50, but I just didn't want. I just wanted to keep using it because I don't want to waste my money. I'll just keep using it, even though it's not actually SPF 50. The, apparently, it's something else. I think it's only like SPF 20 or less. It's not very. It's not very good. But I just used it because I don't want to waste my money. And I want to keep using. It. After that's done, I am gonna go back to La Roche. Say, pose, whatever. How you say this? Um, this is the 50 plus SPF. This was um, guys, this was amazing during summer. It's very lightweight, kind of expensive, but not too crazy. So it was definitely worth my money. And I will go back to it after this purito scandal. Going back to it. We all know that we have to keep reapplying sunscreen, but of course, when you're wearing makeup or when you're on the go all the time, like it's hard to just keep reapplying, especially when you're wearing makeup. So, I've used the Body Shop Skin Defense and it's SPF 30. And basically, what I do, I just shake it, spray it. Oh, I love that. And basically yeah there you go sunscreen on and i'm wearing makeup and it doesn't affect my makeup at all actually i think it makes it look better so this i've been using throughout summer is always in my bag as well always remember to always use sun protection please especially when you're using retinols and acids and all that you girl you need to wear sunscreen like you cannot miss that for the people who know me when they see me like at night time or like when I FaceTime or I snap them, they always see how oily my face is during night time because I use oils a lot since I think I, I can't sleep without using oils. Like it feels weird. Like, my skincare doesn't feel complete and even though I have oily skin, I always think that it's always good to always keep your skin hydrated, especially when you're sleeping. When I'm tackling different skin issues, and let's just say um breaking out i use the ordinary 100 percent organic cold press rose hip seed oil this is what i use when i'm breaking out and then when i'm also tackling things like scarring or skin texture i go for vitamin e by the body shop love this serum so luxurious just for when i feel like i need it the most i use the oils of life by the body shop it's a facial oil and girl oh my god sometimes i don't even use the other two i just use this majority of the time because it feels so good on my skin amazing and once again i am not saying this just because i worked with the body shop it's only because it feels so good on my skin and it has helped a lot so i literally have proof like literally proof i wish i had i wish i took videos of like when i was breaking out during like this time but I broke out literally recently, so that's why I have like redness there. But it was never like proper, big, obvious pimples. You get me? I've tried a lot of face masks, especially by the body shop, because I love their face mask. But my favorite one is definitely the Japanese Matcha Tea Pollution Clearing Mask. Especially in London, I feel like I need it more 
I'm not gonna lie, even if you're not living in London, but you know when you look at your skin and you're like, oh, she congested, she definitely congested, like, my skin. You know, like, when you can see, like, build up or whatever and it just feels bumpy. I used this and it's just, whoop amazing and of course i actually haven't repurchased this i recently made a hairstyle order surprisingly i did not repurchase these cosrx and Tyler blemish creams mainly because i did not need them anymore not to brag but your girl did not need them anymore which i'm very very happy throughout my skincare journey i have been using a lot of these my brother loves this, loves these as well <sighs> That was a lot to say and I'm sorry I literally bombarded you guys with products after products after products but I'm not gonna lie I love these products I've either repurchased or I've tried something very similar to them mainly because I saw what's worked on my skin the most. The biggest advice I will give you guys when you're trying to build up your own skincare routine is always look for something like a bit more gentle especially when you have acne prone skin. Um, always think, okay, so if I have pimples, I have spots, I have acne, what will I use to target this acne? And then of course when you have acne, you have hyperpigmentation, so then you build up your skin routine through that. And always remember that your skin needs to heal, you need to allow your skin to heal, which is when this comes in. And you know, that's when you kind of realize, okay. I need to take a break from all these active ingredients which is having all these active ingredients is not a bad thing especially when you have like my type of skin but always remember that it's also okay to take a break because you know to let your skin just be free sometimes is what's going to help with the recovery time faster or what I have noticed with my own skin and of course my skin is literally not perfect it is not perfect whatsoever so guys i uh, hope that was informative and i will list all the products below in the description i am not going to tell you to buy these products but i hope you do learn something like how to build your own routine it is a lot of trial and error but i can confidently say that i now know what my skin needs the most and what my skin just wants. So having a skincare routine like this is very extensive, especially when I use different products throughout the day and at nighttime. It is very expensive, but I am lucky to have been gifted quite a few of these things. But when it comes to trial and error of buying like active ingredients like retinols and acids and vitamin C products, then I always recommend to go and buy stuff from The Ordinary. And I think there was, there's new stuff from like The Inky, so I don't know. But those are also cheap because a lot of these products were like five pounds, six pounds. So yeah, they're very cheap. So I would advise to go for those first before buying like high-end things because I did not start with like buying like a lot of high-end products. But yeah, I really, I do hope that somehow this video made sense and I hope that you guys actually enjoyed it and yeah if you guys have any more questions feel free to DM me on Instagram I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time